Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Watch This and Chill. And if you're interested in aviation, we're talking about whether flights can ever be truly green and they can ever reduce their carbon emissions to zero. Wow. Looking at some basic facts here, it's clear that aviation is responsible for something like 2.5% of global CO2 emissions, according to this uh, facts on the internet I found. In 2019, flights produced 91.5 million, sorry, 915 million tons of CO2. But as a percentage of all transport, aviation is responsible for 12% of global CO2 emissions. So it's far less than emissions caused by cars. And airlines are currently looking at ways they can switch to alternative methods of energy. For example, I'm just going to look at some of the changes that airlines are currently making to their engines in particular. Because whilst one way they could reduce emissions would be to design new planes, that currently is not looking like it's going to happen anytime soon, which may be disappointing if you're looking for some really cool futuristic alternative design jets. But let's not lo lose all hope here because Boeing are starting to use a whisk battery engine rather than a fuel powered engine. They are trying to look at ways they can install this engine into their jets. There's no plans to actually change the jet designs for another decade. According to this Wall Street Journal article I found, it states here that the only upgrades of existing models likely to enter service include an extra long range version of the A321 and the Boeing 77X, uh, which according to the article is disappointing because what it means is airlines won't be able to actually reduce emissions per passenger by more than 0. Point something percent. However, if they were to improve their engine design, this would go some way to making flying less harmful for the environment. Another thing they could do is to build zero emissions planes. Now, Airbus has pledged to make a hydrogen fueled aircraft by 2035 that could feasibly replace its powerhouse A320 narrow body on flights of under 1000 miles. But there are big unknowns that could delay the technology or limit it to rotate to routes less than 300 miles, which let's face it is a major barrier for a commercial airline. It's clear that aircrafts are themselves looking to cut their own emissions, such as Cathay Pacific. What they're trying to do is reaffirm their commitment here to reaching net zero carbon emissions, according to this press statement. By 2050, they are pledging to use sustainable fuel consumption, or SFC, by 2030. This is one way they're looking to make their flights more environmentally friendly. And for every flight you book, there is an option to offset your carbon emissions by paying a surcharge. It's true that this does take responsibility away from the airline and forces it onto the customer, but at least it's something to make you feel that you're not causing as much damage to the air to the environment as if you weren't paying that extra fee. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about this subject. I know it's a little bit technology heavy, but rest assured we'll be back to more flight reviews next time and look at some of those beautiful flight air attendants. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe, take care. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.